Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally, and this video course is all tenses in English difference. Really? So you'll know the difference between all English tenses. Yeah, it's great. Really, it's great. Uh, so you know that uh, this course is for you. And let's start with something simple. Yeah. So the difference between present simple and present continuous. Present simple and present continuous. Do you know the difference between these tenses? So present simple talks about the present. Yeah, tells us about the present. Yeah, you see, so present simple is about the present. And present continuous is also about the present. It's also about the present, but which is now? Which is now? Compare. Compare. I work every day. I work every day and I'm working. I'm working. So you see, every day it means that uh, I worked yesterday, I worked uh, the day before yesterday, I'll, I will work tomorrow, I'll work the day after tomorrow, and so on. So it usually happens. It usually it usually happens it usually happens and if you say i'm working it means it's now it's now okay it usually happens yeah good and if you say i'm working so it means now okay so very good so if you don't say every day uh, for example, you say, I work, I work, it also means, it also means that it usually happens, so it usually happens, yeah, and if you say, I'm working, it's now, if you have, yeah, so you see, and uh, I think that uh, you need some exercises, so please choose the correct answer. Look, they play or they are playing football. So, look, they play football or they are playing football. Which answer is correct and why? So, a good question. Which answer is correct? Which answer is correct and why? So, I think that you like exercises. You like doing exercises, yeah? So, you see, look. Is it now or not? Look. Yeah, it's now. So, you need to choose or you need to use present continuous. They are playing football. They are playing football. So, you don't have now. You don't have now. But the context. The context. Or this word tells us that it's now. So, you are using present continuous. Look. They are playing football. It's now. It's at the moment. Yeah, it's now. It's at the moment. So, it's now, it's at the moment, oh, so you need to use, a moment, oh, sorry, so you need to use present uh, continuous, very good, very good, okay, present simple and present continuous, okay, I hope that's clear, I hope that's clear, good, let's go on, let's go on, so you know that go on is a phrasal verb, it means continue. Please have a look at our playlist and you'll know much more about phrasal verbs and other subjects. Okay, next. So, what about 
past simple past simple and present perfect past simple and present perfect what's the difference between these tenses who knows what's the difference between what's the difference between these tenses okay so past simple and present perfect so both these tenses are about the past both these tenses are about are about the past so if you use present perfect or if there is a connection with the present you need to use present perfect if there is if there is a connection if there is a connection with the present if there is a connection with the present with the present you need to use you need you need to use you need to use present perfect okay so past simple past simple it's usually a distant past a distant past and present perfect so if we are talking about present perfect present perfect yeah so connection so there is a connection there is a connection with the present there is a connection with the uh, present so you see you see there is a connection with the present it's very important okay uh, so let's revise it and then we'll go on so present simple it's about the present and present continuous it's about the present which is now so compare I work every day it usually happens I'm working so it's now so if you say I work it also means it usually happens exercises so look they play football or they are playing football which answer is correct in and why so it's our plane because it's happening now it's happening at the moment yeah it's now at the moment so I hope that's clear let's go on let's talk about past simple and present perfect so what the difference between these tenses both these tenses are about the past if there is a connection with the present you need to use present perfect so shortly yeah shortly so shortly we can say the following so past simple is a distant past and present perfect so if we see a connection if we see a connection with the present good moreover moreover some words tell us that we need to use present perfect some words tell us that we need to use we need to use present perfect so it's a golden rule it's a golden rule it's a golden rule so if you have if you see those words so think about present perfect so if you uh, see if you see these words if you see these words so or if you want to use these words think about think about present perfect present perfect okay so yeah if there is a connection if there is a connection with the present so it's already already and you know that we form present perfect this way have or has plus have or has plus past participle have or has plus past participle yeah or we call it the third forum or we call it the third forum so for example do did done so what is past participle it's done it's the third forum so already I have already been there I have already been there next just 
I have just, I have just called her, I have just called her. Yet, we put it at the end of the sentence. Yeah, we put it, we put it at the end, at the end of a negative sentence, of a negative sentence, of a negative uh, sentence. For example, he hasn't come back yet. He hasn't come back yet. He hasn't come back yet. So, you see, already, I have already been there. Just, I have just called her yet. So, we put it at the end of a negative sentence. So, you see it in the end. Yeah, we say in the end, but at the end of something. Okay? So, he hasn't come back yet. He hasn't come back yet. So, you see, uh, what else? Yeah, moreover, some words tell us that we need to use present perfect, so it's very important. It's a golden rule. So, if you see these words, think about present perfect. So, we form it this way. So, have has plus past participle or the third form. So, you see, do, did, done. Yeah, so done is um, past participle. Yeah, and uh, some examples. I have already been there. I have uh, just called her. Oh, you know that uh, we often use a short form and we say I've. Yeah, I've already been there. I have just called her or I've. I've just called her. Yet, we put it at the end of a negative sentence. Look, he hasn't come back yet. He hasn't come back yet. And you also need to know two more words. So, they are ever, ever. We use it in questions. We use it in questions. We use it in questions. So, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been there? Have you ever been there? Yeah, so it's present perfect because of ever. Have you ever been there? And never, and never if there is a connection with the present. So, if it's true now, if it's true, if it's true now too, if it's true now too. For example, I have never, I have never been there. I have never been there. So, it's true. It's true. I have never been there. So, really, yeah. And uh, you see, so you see this point. Well, and I think that you need uh, to do some exercises. Do you like exercises? Do you like doing exercises? Okay, so, you see. So, he, so, went there, or, so, he, look, has gone there. He has gone there yesterday. So, which variant is correct and why? He went there or he has gone there yesterday? So, it's about the past, you see, yesterday. And you know that there are some words, yes, which tell us that we need to use present perfect. So, you know, these words and it's really good. It's really good that you know these words. And there are some words which tell us that we need to use past simple. And yesterday is one of these words. Yes, so if we are talking about past simple, so such words as yesterday, yesterday, the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, uh, different variants with last, last week, uh, last month, uh, and so on, and different variants with ago, uh, for example, uh, three days ago, uh, three days ago, four months, uh, four months and ago, and so on, they tell us that we need to use past simple. So, the right answer, the right answer is he went there, because yesterday is a word of past simple. Yeah, so it tells us that we need to use past simple. 
Okay, so I feel that you need more practice. I feel that you need more practice. No problem. Look, so yeah, how will you say? How will you say he was already? He was already? He was already there? Or he has already been there? He has already been there. So, how will you say it? So, you see already. And you remember our golden rule, yeah? It's a golden rule. So, there are some words tell us that we need to use present perfect. And already is one of these words. So, he has already been there. Yeah, it isn't a question. He has already been there. Only this variant because of already. This variant isn't correct. This variant isn't correct. Okay, so good, very good. And I suppose that you want to know uh, the difference between past simple and past continuous. Past continuous. So it's also very important. Okay, so shortly, past simple is a short action, a short action is a short action in the past, a short action in the past, and past continuous, good, and past continuous is a long action, is a long action in the past, is a long action, past continuous, uh, past continuous is a long action, is a long action in the past. So, you see, uh, for example, yeah, we often use past continuous with when, look, and we form it this way. So, was or were plus verb plus ing, was were plus verb plus ing. So, look, when I when I came home, when I came home, he was playing computer games. When I came home, he was playing computer games. So, which action is long and which action is short? So, I came home. It's a short action. It's a short action. And was playing is a long action. So he was playing, 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 playing. And then suddenly, and then suddenly, I came. Suddenly I came. So the first action, the first action interrupts, interrupts. The first action interrupts the second one or interrupts the second action or interrupts uh, yeah, the second one. So there is one long action, so was playing, and there is a short action. When I came home, he was playing computer games. Okay, so past simple and past continuous. So past simple, uh, yeah, a short action in the past, and past continuous, a long action in the past. And we form it this way, was were plus verb plus ing. So, when I came home, he was playing computer games. So, the first action interrupts the second one. So, very good. So, what about future simple? And you know that uh, oh, we need to talk about the group simple, the group simple. So, present simple present simple, uh, next uh, past simple, and future simple, and future simple. We need to talk about it. And uh, we have already, we have already talked about present simple and past simple. We also need to talk about future simple. And we talked about uh, continuous, about the group of tenses, continuous, yeah, groups of tenses groups of tenses groups of tenses so the first 
yeah, is um, a simple group and the next one is uh, a continuous group so you see uh, you see uh, present continuous present continuous present continuous past continuous past continuous and future continuous and future continuous and future continuous we talked about these tenses yeah uh, so present simple so we usually do it past simple it's about the past a short action in the past present continuous it's now past continuous a long action in the past and we need to talk about future simple and uh, future continuous well and um, we also need to remember the group perfect so it's present perfect present perfect so it's about the past when there is a connection with uh, the present good uh, next past perfect uh, past perfect and future perfect future perfect okay so i think that we are doing the right thing and uh, these groups are really very important these groups are very important so continuous uh, simple and uh, perfect continuous simple and perfect let's compare future simple and future continuous really okay so i hope it's a good idea let's compare let's compare so future simple let's compare future simple and future continuous let's compare future simple and future continuous well uh, but uh, before we do it we need to do some exercises we need to do some exercises yeah so please on past simple or past continuous because we need to do exercises it's very important so choose choose the correct answer choose the correct answer so when he when he call me so it's uh, when he called me or when he was calling me when he was uh, calling me uh, so I took I took or I was taken I was taken I was taken a shower I was taken a shower so which answer is correct and why so look please look at it and then we'll discuss so so you see when he called me or when he was calling me when i took a shower or when i was taking a shower so which action is long and which action is short so i think that this action is long really taking a shower i can't do it i can't do it in a second or i can't do it in two seconds so it's it isn't enough it isn't enough for it so it's a long action so i was in the bathroom and uh, i was taking a shower so i was taken 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 and then suddenly suddenly he and yeah right you are absolutely right my friend it's a short action so he called me he called me so when he called me i was taking a shower so this is a short action and it interrupts it interrupts a long action so taking a shower very good well done excellent amazing okay really let's compare future simple and future continuous okay so yeah so let's compare future simple and future continuous so what is future simple so it's a short action in the future it's a short action in the future you see and was it future continuous and what is future continuous it's you know it's a long action 
It's a long action. A long action. It's a long action in the future. It's a long action in the future. Look. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Compare. Compare. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. So, if you say so, uh, it means that uh, it's um, a short action, so you'll wait a bit. So, you'll wait, you'll wait um, a little or maybe a bit and uh, it isn't so important for you. It isn't so important for you. It isn't so important for you. It isn't so important. It isn't so important for for you, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it isn't so important for you. So, you see, well, okay? So, it isn't so important for you. Well, if you say, if you use future continuous, so it uh, will be plus verb plus ing, or you can also use a short form, yeah? So, it will be it will be the following. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. So, if you say it this way, it means that uh, you are ready uh, to wait for a long time and it's really important for you. So, you are ready. You are ready to wait. You are ready uh, to wait. Uh, wait, maybe. You're ready to wait maybe for a long time and it's really and it's really important and it's really important uh, for you yeah I'll be waiting for you I'll be waiting for you okay so yeah oh uh, when he called me I was taking a shower so let's compare future simple and future continuous so future simple is a short action in the future and future continuous is a long action in the future please compare i'll wait for you so it means maybe i'll wait a little a bit it isn't so important for you and if we use uh, future continuous so it's so will be plus verb plus ing or we can also use a short forum. Yeah, it's uh, a short forum and we often use it in speech. We often use it in spoken English. Right. And you can say, for example, I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, it's a short forum. It means that you're ready to wait maybe for a long time. Yeah, and it's really important for you. Yeah, and we often use we often use we often use this tense with the verb wait in an english conversation yeah so yeah if we are talking about speaking we often use we often use this uh, tense we often use this english tense with uh, with uh, the verb with the verb wait with the verb wait uh, in an english conversation in an English, in an English conversation, in an English conversation. So, you see, okay, I'll be waiting for you. So, let's look at some examples. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for your, I'll be waiting for your reply. Or oh, I'll be waiting for your answer. I'll be waiting for your letter. I'll be waiting for your message. I'll be waiting for your call and so on. We use it so often. We use it so often, really. So you see that we form it this way. Will be plus verb plus ing. Or we can use a short form, yeah? So I'll be waiting for you. So it means that you're ready to wait maybe for a long time and it's really important for you. Yeah, what about speaking? We often use this English tense 
with the verb wait in an English conversation. I'll be waiting for you I'll, or I'll be waiting for your reply, for your answer, letter, uh, message, call, yeah? So, and I think that you need some exercises, yeah? Exercises, yeah, so, bye, exercises, okay? So, bye, 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 and what do we choose? I'll wait, I'll wait for your call, I'll wait for your call, I'll wait for your call, or I'll be waiting, I'll be waiting for your call. Or I'll be waiting, or I'll be waiting for your call. So, I'll wait for your call, or I'll be waiting for your call. And you see, so it's not a short action, not just a second. So, it's a long action in the future. And we also know that we often use a future continuous yeah, with the verb wait in an English conversation. So, I'll be waiting for a call, you know, it sounds natural, so it sounds very natural. It sounds very natural, it sounds very natural. Okay, very good, so very good. So, oh, we talked uh, about uh, future simple and uh, oh, you see uh, future continuous. We also talked about present perfect. We also talked about present perfect. So, what are we going to do now? We need to compare so past simple and past perfect and future simple and future perfect. So, are you ready? Are you ready? So, I hope you are. So, let's do it. So, past simple and past perfect. Past simple and past perfect. Well, and then we need to look at the difference. And then we'll need to look at the difference between future simple and future perfect. Future simple and future perfect. So, first of all, you need to know so what past simple is. So, you know, it's, um, uh, it's about the past. It's about the past. It's about uh, the past, and uh, it's usually a, a short action. Yes, a short action. And what is past perfect? It's one time before. It's one time before past simple. It's one time before past simple. Yeah. So it's so important. It's really important to know it. Look. For example, I said, so it's past simple, yeah, and what is past perfect? It had plus past participle, had plus past participle, or plus the third form. I said, he had done it. I said, he had done it. So look, it's past simple. You see, I said, so say, you know, it's an irregular verb. Yes, this verb is irregular. Say, said, said. He had done it. So it's past perfect. Had and done is past participle. So I said, he had done it. So why do we need to use, why do we need to use past perfect here? Because first I, first he did, so first he did, first he did, first he did it, then I said it, then I said it. So because the second action, because the second action happened earlier, the second action happened earlier, you see. The second action happened earlier. Yeah? So first he did, and then I said it. Okay? He said he had done it. First he did it, and then I said it. Look. 
exercises by I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for your call. For your call. It sounds very natural. Past simple. It's about the past. It's a short action. And past perfect. It's one time before. Past simple. We form it this way. Had plus past participle. I said he had done it. Yeah, but it's before. It's before I said. Yeah, so you see, it happened earlier. First he did it, then I said it. The second action happened earlier. So if the second action, if uh, the second action so happened earlier, you need to use past perfect. Okay? Let me give you one more example. So, when I came home, when I came home, she had already, she had already cooked dinner. So, came home, it's one action, the first action, it's about the past. So, you see, it's uh, past simple. And you also see, uh, had already cooked. So, did it happen before? Yeah, right. You are absolutely right, my friend. So, it happened before. So, it's the second action. It's the second action in the sentence. But it happened earlier. So, you need to use past perfect. And I also think that you are ready for a short test. Okay? So, I knew, I knew, or I had known, I knew, or I had known that, I knew, or I had known that he failed, or that he had failed the test, that he had failed the test. So, what will you choose and why? Okay? So, you look at the first part of the sentence at the first clause and at the second part of the sentence at the second clause. So, which action happened earlier? So, I knew or I failed or he failed. So, first he failed and then I knew. So, it's the second action and it happened earlier. So, it's about the past. You need to use a past simple. Look, I knew that. And the second action is about the past too. But it happened earlier. But you need to use past perfect. So, I knew that he had failed the test. He had failed the test. Okay? So, I think that's clear. Yeah, what about future simple and uh, future perfect? Uh, actually, actually, nothing difficult. Nothing difficult. Yeah, it's easy. So, future simple. It's, um, you know, it's about the future. It's about the future. It's about the future. And usually, it's, uh, it's usually a short uh, action. Good. And what is future perfect? So, we use future perfect. So, when you talk about the future, and uh, when you have by, by, year or... It's usually by, uh, by, yeah, by or by the time. So, if you have it, if you have it in a sentence, yeah, you need to use future perfect. Yes, it's about the future. Look, look, yeah? But first, let's revise it. So, when I came home, she had already cooked dinner. So, a short, there is a short test, for, <laughs> especially for you. So, I knew that he, ha that he had failed the test. So, future simple, it's about the future, it's a short action. And future perfect, it's about the future, but you need to have by or by the time in a sentence. Please, compare these sentences. Please, compare these sentences. Please, compare these sentences. So, I will... 
reach I will reach the next level I will reach the next level okay so what tense is it what tense is it right it's future it's future simple well but um, you can add by yeah and you will have to use you'll have to use you'll use future perfect so we form it this way we'll have a plus plus participle a plus plus participle or plus the third forum so i will have reached i will have reached the next level the next level by next month yeah or by next month yeah so and yeah this thing so these words tell us that we need to use future perfect i will have reached the next level by next month so we use future perfect because of by i will have reached the next level by next month it means uh, not later not later not later not later than next month yeah not later than next month i will have reached the next level by next month so i think that uh, you see the difference you see the difference okay so very good very good or i can also say amazing so we talked about past perfect future perfect and we looked at three different groups of tenses simple continuous and perfect as you know there are four groups in english tenses yeah they say there are four groups in english uh, tenses so it's perfect continuous it's perfect continuous really let's talk let's talk about these tenses and let's compare these tenses with other tenses okay so present perfect continuous past past perfect continuous it's about the past and future and future perfect continuous and future perfect continuous we often use present perfect continuous in speaking well let's talk about the first tense in this group so it's present perfect continuous it's present perfect continuous we often use it we often use it in speaking well so you know that students make this mistake again and again i learn english i learn english for five years yeah so you know that uh, students say so again and again and they don't realize that they make a mistake because in this case we need to use present perfect continuous really if you have for or since in a sentence it tells us it tells us that we need to think about present perfect continuous we need uh, to use it so what is present perfect continuous so it's um, for actions it's for actions it's for actions it's for actions or you know, it's for an action yeah if it's one action it's for an action which happened in the past or which uh, happened um, in the past and which is still and which is still and which is um, uh, still and which is still happening and which is still happening so it's happened in the past and it is still happening yeah and we use for and since look i learned english i learned english for five years so what does it mean it means if you have four yeah for five years it means that i started learning english yeah I'm not lazy I'm not lazy and uh, I'll write it for you yeah I think it's okay so it means that uh, I started learning English I started learning English five years ago 
five years ago, I started learning English five years ago, and I'm still doing it, and I'm still learning it. So it's present perfect continuous. And uh, in this case, you need to use present perfect continuous. But what is present perfect continuous? How to form it? Okay? So it's have or has. It's have or has plus been plus been plus verb plus ing. So I have been learning English. I have been uh, learning English for five years. I've been learning English for five years. Okay? So perfect continuous. Yeah, there are three tenses in this group. So you see present perfect continuous. So we are talking about it right now. Past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous. Yeah, we use for and since with present continuous. So it's for an action which happened in the past and which is still happening. So this sentence is incorrect. I mean, I learned English for five years. Why? You know, it's, I start, it means I started learning English five years ago and I'm still doing it. So the formation, the formation of present perfect continuous. Look, have or has plus been plus verb plus ing. So, I have been learning English for five years. I have been learning English for five years. So, only this way. And um, there is a short test uh, for you. So, I work or I have been working. I have been working. I have been working uh, here for three months. So, what are you choosing? Work or have been working. So think, please think. So for three months, yeah? So it tells us that I started working here three months ago and I'm still doing it. I'm still working here. So it's present perfect continuous. Only this way. So I have been working here for three months. Or yeah, it can be another way. If only, you know, if we use a short Forum. You can also say I've been working. I've been working. So you can use um, a short forum. Yeah, I've been working uh, here for three months, or a long forum, a full forum. So I have been working here for three months. And you know that we often use these tense in spoken English. So you see, have has plus been plus verb plus ing. I have been learning English. I have been learning English for five years. Test. I work. I have been work. Yeah, I have been working. We say I have been working here for three months. I've been working here for three months. Yeah, good. So what about past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous? So the most difficult tenses. The most difficult tenses. Uh, so we compared uh, past simple and uh, past perfect. Uh, future simple and uh, future perfect. So very good. So it was um, number six. Uh, then we talked about, um, you know, present uh, perfect continuous and, um, you know, and uh, present simple. Present perfect continuous and uh, present simple. Yeah. Present perfect continuous and uh, present uh, simple. So we talked about it. We talked about it. Yeah. Uh, it's um, an important uh, thing. Well, and uh, you know, uh, I'd also like I'd also like to talk about these uh, very important uh, tenses. So, past perfect continuous, past uh, perfect continuous. Let's compare this tense: past perfect continuous, uh, past perfect, uh, past perfect, past perfect, and uh, past uh, continuous. So, well, and um, we also need uh, to talk about, so, you know, it's number nine, if I'm not mistaken. So, if I'm mistaken, please uh, correct me. So, we also need to talk about future simple and uh, future, you know, and uh, future perfect, future perfect. Okay, so, very good, really very good.
Well, how do we form past perfect continuous? Had been plus verb plus ing. So what is past perfect continuous? Past perfect continuous is a past perfect uh, plus for. You know, it's like present perfect continuous when you have for. So it's past perfect plus for. Please look at look at these two situations please look at these two situations when i came home when i came home she had already she had already done her homework so it's the first situation so you see that we have past simple and uh, past perfect we have past simple and past perfect yeah so i came home it's about the past and the second action happened earlier so we use past perfect had already done her homework and please look at the second situation when i came home when I came home, she had been doing, yeah? So you see that uh, past perfect continuous, it had been plus verb plus ing. So had been plus verb plus ing. She had been doing her homework, her homework for, she had been doing her homework for, you know, for two hours, for two hours. And this word tells us that we need to use past perfect continuous, had been doing. So what does it mean? What does it mean? It means that, um, you know, it means uh, that um, I started doing my homework or no, she started doing her homework, so she was doing it, she was doing it, she was doing it, yeah, for two hours, and then I came, yeah, so, you know, it, there, it's an emphasis on the duration, so there is an emphasis on the duration, on the duration, or in other words, so it tells us, it tells us uh, that um, it's a long action, it's a long action uh, which happened uh, two hours uh, before and it was still, and it was still, you know, going on. So let's write it down. So the action, the action, the action, the action uh, happened um, to, or well, the action started, or happened, uh, the action started, or the action uh, happened uh, two hours, two hours before, two hours before, and it was, and it was still going on, or it was still in process, it was still in process, or it, still, it was still in progress, it was still in progress, okay, it was uh, still in progress. So the action started two hours before and it was still in progress. Yeah, so it's a very important thing and we use it in this context. We use it in this context. You see, past perfect continuous. Yeah, if you say, if you say, look, when I came home, when I came home, when I came home, she was doing, when I came home, she was doing, her homework it's past continuous it's past continuous so you know that she was doing 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 her homework it's a long action and then suddenly and then suddenly i uh, came then suddenly i came okay good so you know it's um, you see it's past simple it's uh, past simple and past and past continuous. It's past simple and past continuous. Good. Okay, so really, 
past perfect continuous, past perfect, past continuous. So had been plus verb plus ing. So it's past perfect. What is past perfect continuous? It's past perfect plus four. Look at these two situations. When I came home, she had already done her homework. So it's past simple and past perfect. Yeah, and let's look at the second situation. So when I came home, she had been doing her homework for two hours. So there is an emphasis on the duration. So it tells us that this, you know, action is long, is long. Yeah, the action started two hours before and uh, it was still going on. It was still in progress. Yeah, and uh, there is one more situation, the third one. So you see, when I came home, she was doing her homework. So it passed simple and past continuous. It's past simple and past continuous. And we also need to look yeah, at the second thing. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's difficult, but not so difficult as you might think. So future simple, uh, future perfect, future simple, uh, future perfect, and uh, you know, uh, future perfect continuous, future perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. And yeah, I remembered also one thing that we need to talk about uh, future and uh, future in the past. So future simple and future in the past. It's also uh, this uh, situation is also very important. And I know that students often make mistakes while talking about it. So I don't want you to make mistakes. I want you to speak English fluently and accurately and confidently without mistakes really i really want it and so i'll you know all right i want you i want you maybe i'm crazy but in fact i'm not so i want you to speak english i want you to speak english so fluently fluently it means fast accurately 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 uh, it means uh, without mistakes and confidently and confidently. So when you are full of confidence, when you are sure, so when you are sure that you speak English correctly or what, that you speak English rightly. And as for me, I'm sure. Okay, so I want you to speak English fluently, accurately and confidently. Okay, and really, let's talk about future simple, uh, future uh, perfect and future perfect continuous. So, you know, future simple, it's so easy. So, I will learn English. I will learn English. So, will plus verb. Will plus verb. Yeah, you see. Will. Will plus verb. Okay? So, or I can use a short form. I'll learn English. I will learn English. Next. So, what is future perfect? So what is future perfect? What is future perfect? It's future simple plus by. So, you know, it's future simple plus by. So you talk about the future, uh, but uh, you use by and you form it this way. We'll have, we'll have plus past participle. We'll have plus past participle. And you know that Past participle is the third form, so it's another name. It's another name, okay? So future simple plus by will have a plus a past participle. So, for example, I will have learned English. I will have learned English by by next by next year. So I will have learned English by next year. Yeah, you see that I want you to speak English fluently, accurately and confidently. So future simple, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Okay, so future simple. You know, you know how we form it. I mean, uh, future simple. So will plus verb. I will learn English. So what is future perfect is future simple plus by will have plus plus participle. So you see, I will have learned, yeah, sorry, I will have learned English by next year. So not later, not later than next year. Well, and what about future perfect continuous? 
what about future perfect continuous yeah so you know that uh, if you want to say it in future con future perfect continuous you need to say we'll have plus bean plus verb plus ing we'll have plus bean plus verb plus ing so what is future perfect continuous is future simple but you also need by and for or in other words yeah you know that i'm good at maths i taught maths really i taught maths so it's my secret huh? but it isn't a secret any longer because you know it's so i taught maths and i know maths pretty well i'm good at maths and i think that it's okay that uh, i'll explain it to you this way okay so it's future simple is uh, future simple plus is future simple or not future simple future perfect is future perfect because you know that future simple plus by it's future perfect it's future perfect plus for so look i will i will have been learning english i will have been uh, learning english for three years for three years by next month so why do we need why do we need why do we need yeah future perfect continuous because of for and by so i will have been learning english for three years by next month or i will have been working here for three years by next month and so on so you can make up your own sentences well and what about future simple and future in the past yeah future in the past for example he said he said so is it correct or not he said that he will do it is it correct or not he said that he will do it so it's is it if it's about the past he said that he will do it you can't say it you need to say he said that he would do it he said that he would do it you know that we change so it's incorrect it's incorrect so we change will we changed will or uh, so we change will to would we changed will to would please remember so if it's uh, the first uh, yeah, action is about the past so it's in the past and you want to talk about the future like in this situation we need to change will to would he said that he would do it yeah he said that he would do it he said that he would come uh, he said that he would uh, listen to you and so on i knew that uh, it would happen yeah so past simple and then so we use past simple and then we need to use would would plus verb okay so you see that future perfect continuous is will have been plus verb plus ing or in other words is future simple plus by and for and what is future simple plus by is future perfect or it's future perfect plus for uh, you see and uh, you can look at the following example i will have been learning english for three years by next month so and um, station number 10 so i really hope you like this kind of videos on grammar but you know that we have lots of different videos and video courses and we'll record and upload new ones if you support this idea yeah he said that he will do it please don't say it this way it's incorrect because we change will to would to would so he said that he would do it okay uh, thanks for watching thanks for your support yeah see you bye what about past simple past simple and present perfect past simple and present perfect what's the difference between these tenses who knows what's the difference between what's the difference between these tenses okay so past simple and present perfect so both these tenses are about the past both these tenses are about are about 
the past. So, if you use present perfect, or if there is a connection with the present, you need to use present perfect. If there is, if there is a connection, if there is a connection with the present, if there is a connection with the present, with the present, you need to use, you need, you need to use, you need to use present perfect, okay? So, past simple, past simple, it's usually a distant past, a distant past, and present perfect, so, if we are talking about present perfect, present perfect, yeah, so connection, so there is a connection, the correct and why. So, I think that you like exercises, you like doing exercises, yeah? So, you see, look, is it now or not? Look, yeah, it's now. So, you need to choose or you need to use present continuous. They are playing football. They are playing football. So, you don't have now. You don't have now. But the context, the context or this word tells us that it's now. So, you are using present continuous look they are playing football it's now it's at the moment yeah it's now it's at the moment so it's now it's at the moment oh so you need to use a moment oh sorry so you need to use present uh, continuous very good very good okay present simple and present continuous okay i hope that's clear I hope that's clear. Good. Let's go on. Let's go on. So you know that go on is a phrasal verb. It means continue. Please have a look at our playlist and you'll know much more about phrasal verbs and other subjects. Okay, next. So, hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally. And this video course is all tenses in English difference. Really? So, you'll know the difference between all English tenses. Yeah, it's great. Well, it's great. Uh, so, you know that uh, this course is for you. And let's start with something simple. Yeah. So, the difference between present simple and present continuous. Present simple and present continuous. Do you know the difference between these tenses? So, present simple talks about the present, yeah, tells us about the present, yeah, you see, so present simple is about the present, and present continuous is also about the present it's also about the present but which is now which is now compare compare i work every day i work every day and i'm working i'm working so you see every day it means that uh, I worked yesterday, I worked uh, the day before yesterday, I'll, I will work tomorrow, I'll work the day after tomorrow, and so on. So, it usually happens. It usually... It usually happens. It usually happens. And if you say, I'm working, it means it's now. It's now. Okay, it usually happens. Yeah, good. And if you say, I'm working, so it means now. Okay, so very good. So, if you don't say every day, uh, for example, 
you say I work, I work, it also means, it also means that it usually happens. So it usually happens. Yeah, and if you say I'm working, it's now. If you ha yeah, so you see. And uh, I think that uh, you need some exercises. So please choose the correct answer. Look, they play or they are playing football. So look, they play football or they are playing football. Which answer is correct and why? So a good question. Which answer is correct? Which answer is, is a connection with the present? There is a connection with the uh, present. So you see, you see, there is a connection with the present. It's very important. Okay, uh, so let's revise it and then we'll go on. So present simple, it's about the present and present continuous. It's about the present, which is now. So compare, I work every day, it usually happens, I'm working, so it's now. So if you say I work, it also means it usually happens. Exercises. So look, they play football or they are playing football. Which answer is correct in and why? So it's are playing because it's happening now, it's happening at the moment. Yeah, it's now at the moment. So I hope that's clear. Let's go on. Let's talk about past simple and present perfect. So what the difference between these tenses? Both these tenses are about the past. If there is a connection with the present, you need to use present perfect. So shortly, yeah, shortly. So shortly, we can say the following. So past simple is a distant past. And present perfect, so if we see a connection, if we see a connection with the present. Good. Moreover, moreover, 